Those of you that have been following this blog for some time know that I am deeply concerned about a very troubling issue that is happening across the state of Florida and frankly across the country. And that is the fact that lenders have now resorted to kicking down the doors of properties whenever they care to. Now it's disturbing enough that uh, we would allow lenders to be kicking down the doors of property just because they want to, but even more disturbing than that is the fact that law enforcement is oftentimes doing nothing about it. I've collected a series of examples from across the state of Florida, in particular in Charlotte County, where uh, the sheriff's office has documented the break-ins. They in fact have interviewed the criminals that broke down the doors of my client's property and collected very specific facts about these break-ins. These two thugs admit that it's part of their practice to take a screwdriver and pry open doors and enter the property. In the one case that's uh, posted here with the Charlotte County Police Officers uh, reports, you'll find that when the, uh, the client returned home, there was a cold beer left on the counter that apparently these thugs had helped themselves to uh, before they left. Now, in a typical break-in, the uh, criminals don't leave a calling card. They don't leave information that would identify who they are. But in this case, the criminals, in fact, did. They left a calling card right there on the door, right after they'd broken in. I'm calling on the press. I'm calling on law enforcement. I'm calling on all of you to pay particular attention to this issue. In particular, I want our judges to be focused on this, because what does it say about this country if we are now allowing lenders to kick in people's doors anytime they want to? Uh, the examples that are posted here are bad enough, and the lawsuit that I filed does detail and chilling uh, facts how this is occurring. But what's even more disturbing are examples that I have where uh, lenders and their representatives are kicking down doors before e lawsuit has even been filed. It really is a terrifying country that we live in now if uh, private parties or anybody is allowed to kick in a door of a person and not have any risk of consequences for it. So what I want uh, all of us to be focused on are examples where this is occurring. And more importantly, I want to get our press's attention on this because I've given up hope that our judges or law enforcement or anybody with any authority or power is going to do anything to stop these people. We've got to rely now on our press to do their job of focusing the attention on important issues like this for not just those that are involved in foreclosure, involved in these economic troubles, but for the larger country. Because again, it's the press that serves that critical function of drawing attention to these issues. So bring these issues uh, to attention of local press and please continue to forward me examples of it. Keep up the good fight.